and we are from the summer class. We did our water testing at Nisqually River in the Tahoma Woods for Green Congress. Green is an international program that promotes water testing by students. Green stands for Global River Environmental Education Network. We test our water quality because if something is wrong around our river, we can fix, find in the problem and fix it. Um, there are five <coughs> or six types of water quality testing. Um, the first one is DO, which is how much oxygen is on the water, and salmon breathe oxygen, and they need at least nine milligrams per liter. And the, another one is fecal coliform, which is how much waste is in the water. We want there to be at least six or less than fifty colonies. Uh, per milliliter, or per hundred milliliters, which, uh, if you have less than 50, you can swim in it, but if you have zero, you can drink it. And then we have the free press group, which is pH, turbidity, and nitrate. Um, pH is how much hydrogen is in the water. Nitrate is how, many, how much nutrients are in the water. And we want less of this so not too many plants take away oxygen from the water. And salt and um, uh, the turbidity is how clear the water is, which is affected by growth of salt, as well as total falls, which is also affected by growth of salt, which is how much how many falls there are in the water. Our monitoring site has lots of wood, wooden debris, tadpoles, rocks, and sand. Our location is located at the Nisqually River at the Tacoma Woods. Our source of water is the Nisqually Glacier at Mount Rainier. The mouth of the river is located at the Nisqually Glacier. You can walk to our site, unlike other schools, you have to ride a bus, which costs more to the budget. Um, we also work with a braided river, and which means it switches its waterways every so often. And as you can see, the red spot is where we, um, the red circle is where we water test, and the arrow is from the school to the river. So, um, the total solid was especially high in October, but it was low in February. This is because of glacial tilt, and in February the glacier is frozen, so it doesn't move and there's less glacial tilt, while in October uh, there's more glacial tilt because the glacier is slowly moving. And um, the turbidity is, was high in October, but low in February for the same reason. There was less glacial glacial tilt because the glacier was frozen. And fecal coliform was really good both times, so we hope to keep it that way. It was zero both times, which is really, really good for the fish. We can't do too much to our water site because we have such good water quality. But when we're down there, we find some garbage and we can pick it up and we can not litter. Thank you for your time. Any questions? Do you ever do any testing downriver further to see if that fecal coliform picks up as it goes <coughs> down the down the river? No. So other that that's schools. the site you do every year. Yeah. Other schools test other places. Can you share a little bit about what the Green Congress <coughs> is? Because that's where those results are shared. You guys can you speak to that a little bit? Uh, Green Congress is where all of the Students in the area that do water testing, uh, eight kids from each class is picked to go to Green Congress, and we go to State of the Rivers, which we divide up for each group, and we present what we have for our water quality, and Green Congress takes this information, and the Nisqually um, River takes this, and they use it for information that they need. So do each of the schools in your area test in different locations along the Nisqually River at different points? Um, most of the... Most of the classes at Eatonville test 
along either the Mechel River or the Ohak River. And how did your Nisqual River compare to the other, the other kids of the Green Congress that uh, had their rivers? Well, our, what, our water quality was really good compared to some of the others where they had high nitrates, for example, would be high. If there was a golf course nearby because of the fertilizer so used. And also some schools, they had 300 for their people called for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how many years have you been doing this yourselves since your first year? Um, this is my second year going to Greenland. This is my first. This is my second year as well. I mean, my kids are going to Green, but I water tested twice. Or you do it twice a year, but I've done it four times this year. Mm -hmm. So have you noticed any kind of a trend over those two years? You know what I mean by a trend comparison between first time you did it and the second time? Well, last year I was at Eaton Elementary and we did the Michelle River and it, the turbidity was sort of good but it wasn't as good as it could be as it was this year at the Nisqual River. And you tested at the same time? Um, February and October? Yeah. Do you guys know any names of other schools? At the Green Congress. At the Green Congress. Well, I know that most elementary schools, both Eatonville Elementary and Grand Hauser, I know they both did it. Mm -hmm. But Grand um, Hauser didn't go to Green Bay, so. Ordy? Did Ordy go? I'm not sure. I know they had Young. Did you meet any other kids from outside of the. Young, my school. Okay. So, what, what kind of classes did you go to there? Did they have like different workshops? There was the Tree of Life where we got to plant native herbs and plants. I was in that with Emily. Mm -hmm. And I was in a uh, class where we dissected a salmon, which was kind of interesting. <laughs> Thank you. Great job.